On this episode, I make two new hard lines because I finally found the content sensor that I missed out on when I did everything else. So, here we go. All right, so I ended up cutting one of these, sliding it over the end of the map sensor and pushing it into that little long plastic piece I had. So here's a look at that. So here it is, it's in there. And that thing, that thing ain't coming out. I plug this, flathead, whatever, silicone. And this guy I took and I used a step bit and drilled it out little by little and then tried to blow away all the shavings and stuff as to not get a lot of that crap in it. Got it to where I was happy with it, clocked it, put a little silicone, and it is in there. And then this guy will plug in here. Got my coolant temperature sensor in. So we are actually looking very good. Button up some little wiring, then we'll give it a whirl. If it test fires, I have a spot at the dyno tomorrow morning, so I will possibly be doing it. I'll show you what I'm doing inside the car. Pulled everything down. So this box is where the relays and everything are. There is a terminal right here, a stud, that actually feeds the main power to this. This will feed my fuel pump, all the sensors, computer, all that fun stuff. But I've got to get the main feed in. The white goes to the tack. The red wire that I have kind of strung up that's hanging down over there, this is keyed power. And then this is my fuel pump that I already have wired in to the yellow, which is fuel pump relay. That's where we're at. Going to mess with the wiring there. Get this buttoned up. Get this all tucked away. All right, so... I got carried away, had to do some other stuff, run errands and things. But everything on here should be pretty much good to go. I don't have coolant in it still, but everything's hooked up. I'm going to cycle the key, get it to see if it'll prime fuel, and then I will see if I can get the, you know, I'm just going to fucking start it. Everything's hooked up. I primed it. We got oil pressure. So this is the first time I'm going to turn the key. The injectors are big, so it should crap all over itself, but we'll see if it will fire up with the new setup. Here we go. Couple things left to button up. I was shooting to go to the dyno tomorrow. That's not gonna happen. We're just gonna do it Tuesday. I have things already scheduled for tomorrow. I don't wanna overload my day. I'm happy. We're good. We're there. Now it's just time to see what kind of numbers she makes. I found this little guy today. So I have a content sensor. And of course all the hard lines are done. And I had the car running yesterday. So why not pull it apart and add this? because it's done. This was in the works from the beginning. It was a plan to be in there. My dyno session was supposed to be today. Obviously, I didn't hit the mark. With that, I planned it for next week so I wasn't in a hurry and overlook something. So when you're at the dyno, I'm on his time. He's not on my time, and uh, it, you gotta pay to play. So I wanna make sure everything is, all my bases are covered on my end before I'm handing somebody money to work on my own stuff at the dyno. Uh, it happens. Next Thursday is dyno time. More than enough time to put this in. I think I'm gonna work on it this afternoon. I'm hoping this is this should be two lines. How hard could it be, right? I'm gonna install this now. I dug in my bag of fittings. These are the two new ends that I need. Obviously, this goes on to here. This is the collar. This is the last of the tubing that I have. There you go, cutter, flare tool, and then the tubing bender. So, I'm gonna go take the stuff in the car apart, assess the situation, figure out how we're gonna get this guy in the car where it's going to live. All right, so I got this hose off, and then this goes from the bottom of the regulator and then just plugged into the return line on the bulkhead fitting I have. This is what we're going to re be replacing, and then now it'll have to go from the regulator into here and then from here into the All right, return. so here's my decision with the content sensor. So this wire is only so long, so we don't have to extend it and do something hokey with the wiring because I haven't made this and this is already done. This dictates where kind of this needs to go. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run it right next to this rail, try to keep that plug so you can plug and unplug everything, and then try to keep it 
far enough back to where I can get to the, the fuel nuts and all those sorts of things without taking everything apart. So I figure somewhere around here, keep it low enough so it clears the hood and that gives me plenty of space to uh, do what I gotta do. So I think this is gonna be the tent of location. I'm gonna zip tie it to the rail where it sits right here so that way I can make all the lines and then the lines will essentially just hold this in place. This thing doesn't weigh very much. I don't think I'm gonna have an issue. And then if I do run it here, I can always just run a residual tire or something around the the fuel rail to the body of this for extra support or whatever. So that's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna zip tie this thing and get to bending some hard line. What's up? So I figured I'd show you guys this. I wanna show you a quick tip on this. This is a line I just bent up and made. Um, you can put the fitting on and the collar and as a nipple it'll stick out. And if you look, I mean, of course it's probably gonna wrestle me because I'm one handed. Okay, I got the bottom out. Um, yeah, so there's that one and then this one will slide out too. But um, see? With the, with the nipple in place, it's probably hard to see back there, but that's on there. I can make my part and essentially fit it exactly where it goes before I flare it or any of that. Uh, flare will change the sizing a little bit, but not dramatically. So that way I know it's what I want. I know it's where I want. Then I can put my nuts and sleeves on and, and uh, flare it and that line will be done. And then we'll move on to the feed, which is on this side from the bottom. So we go down here and then up to that one, which should be hopefully easier. but. You never know, so there's my pro tip for you. All right, so here's where we ended up with the hard line. So it just makes a 180, goes down around, kind of looks like a pretzel, but it's really not that bad. Um, out the bottom, into the content sensor, makes this loop around, back down, and then over to the bulkhead, back to the tank. So that's that, I'm gonna cycle the key so it pumps the fuel. Make sure we got no leaks and then maybe just try to start up, let it idle for a minute so it'll actually consistently pump it and I can double check it. And then that's that. All right, so I fired the car up and then this guy here actually leaked. And I don't know if I'll be able to catch it on camera. There's a little ridge in there. So I thought I cleaned it, did my due diligence, but it left a little bit of a lip right on the inside and it doesn't want to seal up. And I could try to force it and smash it and tighten the shit out of it, but this stuff's all aluminum. You're not supposed to have to tighten it that hard. And I've got a little bit of wiggle room because how I set this up. Um, so I'm just gonna cut just the very end off, make sure I clean it up real nice, and then get a real good flare on it. And then we'll try it again, and I'll show you guys. Anyway, nice and smooth. That's the redo. So no lip on that, so that'll seal up just fine. Let's try it again. All right, so now I gotta cycle the key again a couple times. I gotta put the battery on. Awesomely corroded battery. Give her one more. Give her the heave ho. I don't have fluids or anything in it, so I can't run it very long, but um, no leaks from what I saw. That back one is iffy, I'll just double check it. Uh, maybe put some fluids in, let it run a little bit longer. That is it, I got a tacked install still, and we'll get to that, but I think we're done for today.